Welcome to my channel, exploring old technologies and seeding new ideas. Let's begin. Requiring a solution to check unmarked random semiconductors, I decided to explore Fenerzi's LCR-P1 tester. What arrived from Amazon was a well-packaged pocket-sized tool with discrete and surface mount testing plates and some test probes. Plus, its clever packaging serves as a great place to store all the parts together. As a bonus, this tool can test Zener diodes as well as diodes and rectifiers. The Fenerzi website offers a PDF version of the Tiny Text user manual and updates support files. While the manual is well illustrated with images of specifications and examples of device use, its firmware updating guidance section left me confused and cautious about updating the unit. So this video will show a few test uses, as well as help you get your unit updated. See the references below before starting. The first step offered on page 17 of the Feruzzi manual is just the beginning. Let's get something in the test. Despite the lead insertion order, the device will display the component correctly as seen with this diode example. Next we have a 6800 ohm resistor in test followed by a 470 nanofarad capacitor showing at 480. And then a 1 picofarad to 13 picofarad variable capacitor. Next up is an inductor bridging from pin 1 to a distant pin 2. Back to semiconductors we have an LED inserted two ways. Here we have an NPN transistor with a symbol error to be discussed later. Followed by a PNP transistor and a dead one for contrast. Here is a probe's use example to check parts of a bridge rectifier. Another looking at a selenium rectifier. Finally, examples of IR decoding. Now on to updating the LCR-P1. You must first install an update tool on your Windows 11 computer to complete this update. And it is found on the Forenzi website under Downloads, under the Manuals and Firmware section. Watch out for tag-alongs as you complete the download and unpack the zip file. You will also want to download the latest update file and unzip it somewhere to use with the update tool. You will need to execute the update tool software found in the first unzipped download. I executed the programs here in the order shown to get the tool to appear on my Windows 11 PC. Now that the update tool has the COM port prepared, you are ready to follow the steps on page 17. Holding the Zener button, press the power button to present the update screen on the unit. Then use the cable provided to connect the tester unit to your Windows 11 PC. Finally, navigate the update tool to the bin firmware on your PC and using the COM port it finds, press update. It only takes a few seconds for the process to complete. Once powered on, your new version is visible and you're ready to test again. Earlier in this video, I demonstrated that the LCR-P1 incorrectly displayed element references for a Motorola MPS6573 NPN transistor. Checking several other NPN types, they also displayed collector to emitter location reversal from the actual physical markings on the product. In contrast, tested PNP transistor elements were correctly represented on the LCR-P1 display. Compared to the MPS6522 PNP device, individual lead pairs of the Motorola MPS6573 shows expected diode orientation, suggesting there may be a simple software bug in the LCR-P1 symbol matching routines. In any case, my primary objective was to be able to trust the LCR-P1 pinout information for random unmarked devices. Therefore, this malfunction critically needs to be resolved to avoid circuit errors in my DIY projects. So I contacted Fenerzi support for help hoping to avoid returning this otherwise capable tester. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be looking forward to preparing another one for you soon.